You're off and running. Okay, this is the uh, Coyote Ad Hoc Committee, May 13th. Um, can I get a motion to start the meeting? Motion. Christine, Sharon, all in favor? Aye. 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 Did I do that right? You were fantastic. Okay, um, did uh, everybody just get a chance to peruse the minutes? And if anybody, anybody have any corrections to those minutes? So um, if nobody has any corrections, can I get a motion to approve last month's meeting minutes? Elizabeth? Dean second, all in favor? Aye. Okay. For the, for the record, it's unanimous. The minutes are approved. Fantastic. Okay, um, so the first item on the agenda, um, Dan, do you have a village update for us? It has a red yeah, any The village activity. update is that there's been no activity in the last month reported. Okay, uh, what about anyone else? Has anybody heard anything? I know one person posted on Facebook that she finally saw a coyote in person. She was so excited. <laughs> she loves nature and all animals of every kind. <laughs> But I, I doubt she called it in, um, but she lives near the uh, preserve, um, like the Rhine Nature Center on that side. So it's not surprising that she saw one because they're, they're over there. Um, but other than that, it's been quiet on Facebook. I haven't seen or heard anything else myself either. Yeah, and I haven't had any sightings here, which I had been somebody who's had a lot of sightings in the beginning and no one's talking about it. So at least not in this area, which would be like post road going west. I don't know if I get my northwest kind of right, but going towards Halstead and, and that section. So it's been relatively quiet for months actually. Yeah, I, I, it really has. Um, and the village has gotten no reports. So that's quiet is good. Um, we know they're still there. Good. Yeah, we know they're still there, but quiet is definitely good. Um, you know, it's, what month are we in? We're in May. So I guess it's, it's really, it's pups or it's pup season right, right. now. Yeah. So um, the coyotes will, would be protective right now. If people spotted them, they might be um, trying to herd people away if someone came upon a den by accident. But the fact that we haven't heard anything is really good news. Um, the second item on the agenda was an update um, from the schools on the distribution of the flyer and the poster contest. I don't know if everybody saw Mike's email, um, but he did reply that the flyers were distributed, which I knew even though my children did not give it to me, I know they got it. And um, the poster contest um, was great. They named winners in each school, the posters will be on display. Um, and I think it was a pretty successful um, thing that they did at the schools. So I don't know if, um, if there's anything planned in the future, I guess the next time Mike or Eric join us, they can give us a further update on anything for that. Yeah, um, I thought the flyers were gonna end up being mailed either with- At with, some point. Okay. Um, it's, just, it's just a matter of when the next mass mailing goes out. There really wasn't one. The, the, the garbage and recycling was not a mailing, um, which is what we thought it was gonna be. But I, I so the next time, correct, correct Dan, the next time there's a mass mailing, it will go. So hopefully, we'll, we'll yeah. remind staff about that. Uh, the tax bills will be going out, uh, but there's a, whether they're delayed or not due to error issues dealing right. with the town of Rye. Right, so. but the tax bills miss a whole lot of people. There's, we have a lot of renters. We have a lot of co-ops here. Uh, none of those people will get a tax bill. It'll go to the owners. It will not go to the pe necessarily to the residents. That's true. You know what we should try and do is get the, get the Bavarian schools to be willing to uh, distribute them as well. Um, yes, that would be great, and um, that was one thing I did want to ask the committee and Dan: um, Are we able to like reach out to the Bavarian district and see if there's somebody from that school district um, that would like to join the committee? Um, certainly can. There's, we, there's I don't absolutely. think we have any representation from the Mamaroneck district. We're all Rhinac. Mm -hmm. So I think it would be a Re Reach out to thing. as many as you want. Uh, it's been in the, um, uh, on the village website. Uh, 
Robert's uh, wonderful. Little, I know. Does, go, go to a lot of people. Right. Uh, if you want, I will put it in uh, my next blast that uh, will go out next week. Okay. I think if even if we could just get, um, I would say one or two max um, people um, if they want to join. Um, well, that would be if, great. I'm not a social media person. <laughs> You know, I, I'm still I'm still dealing with on and off, uh, you know, for the computer. <laughs> uh, but uh, maybe um, you know, uh, uh, if somebody you know um, would be willing to you know put it on social media, you might get a faster response. Okay, and um, what do you ladies think? Uh, one or one or two additional people? To I just would say if anybody's interested, I wouldn't say one or two because that this that. If I saw that, I'd say, well, I don't know, I'll let other people do it. I just, I would just simply say there's, a, you know, we have an active committee on coyotes. Um, you know, we're looking for representation from somebody within the Moranic School District. If uh, somebody's interested, please contact Sally Roberts at uh, sroberts at vomny.org. Okay, but I mean, how many people do we want? Additionally, to be on the committee, we well, just at what least should know. They, they, they will come into Sally. Sally will have to, you know, if there are more than one or even one or more, she'll forward it to the board of trustees for appointment. Okay. And if there, you know, and if, if we get, let's say we get two people or three people that are interested, the question is, do you want to enlarge the committee or not? And I would ask you that before I ask the board to uh, act on it. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. Um, and then um, the only other thing was um, I attached the that PSA that LMC TV did. I don't know if anybody looked at that. I hate that I'm I'm on that. I thought I was just gonna be <laughs> voice, um, but um, I thought it was I thought it was pretty good. You know, it was one of the interns that did it. It was very spliced. I could tell just because she interviewed me. So I knew kind of where she cut and spliced and added, which I was, it was cute. Um, but I, you know, it was brief. It was, I thought it was to the point and it basically just highlighted the information in the flyer. Um, so I hope I did everybody proud. Um, again, I hate to be interviewed, especially on camera, not my thing. Um, <laughs> But um, I thought that was nice. And um, I don't know if the way she sent it, I don't know if that can be added to the website under our coyote committee section, the way she sent it. It was kind of a weird, um, it wasn't like a link. So I don't know. Well, if you could send the information uh, to uh, Robert with a copy to me. Okay. Uh, he, he's the one who can determine whether it can get on the website or not. Okay. Sounds good. Um, that's all I have on the agenda. Unless somebody has um, anything else they wanna discuss. I said, this is gonna be a quick one. Um, I'm, I have nothing else. I agree with Daniel um, in the way that when you kind of put a blast out, see if anybody's interested, I would say that maybe two. I would, I, mean, I think it would be beneficial to have more than one voice making the decisions for Mamaronek, you know, um, as we're right at. So maybe whomever applies or whatever, we look for maybe two. Yeah, I think it would be a great if we could have somebody that works in the district, like we have Eric and we have Mike, I think it would be great if somebody who can actually represent the school district, um, if we could get somebody on board like that. Um, so, um, that I think that would just be a, just a positive thing because then when we want to communicate across districts, we have that in. Because well, um, I came in after it was formed. How did we get Mike get the, uh, involved? I have no idea because I just applied to be on the committee oh, you know like what? I think it, everybody else. Jerry, Jerry reached out to the schools. That's what he did. Oh, okay. Um, could probably ask him to reach out to the Vermont School District as well. I will definitely do that. I will, I'll shoot him an email and ask him if he could. Yeah. You know, and uh, the worst you can do is say no, or they say no. Right. Okay. I 
I, like I said, I, I didn't think this would be a long one because it's quiet and um, if everybody's okay with everything for now, I think we can, we can adjourn it. So can I get a, Go ahead. Dan, can I do it? Can I get a motion yep. to adjourn the meeting? Sharon, second, Christine, all in favor? Meeting adjourned. Thank you, Gavel. For the record, for the record, all the votes have been unanimous. Yep. <laughs> so we're good. Have a good Take night, care. everyone. Ciao. Thanks Thank everybody you. for showing Bye. up. And until next time. Thank you month. all for your help. We really appreciate it. Bye. Truly. Thanks everyone. Good night. Bye. Bye.